Hello everyone and welcome again in a new video tutorial. Today after my I'm going to show you how you can make your your computer internal hard disk external. After my beautiful computer crashed, which is this one, I opened it and I took out the hard disk. You can open your computer using a specific screwdriver which is at the same size has the same size as your uh, as your computer screw so I took out the external hard disk again and then I bought a special box to make my hard disk external you have the choice between different type of it you can choose this nice box which show what it inside and you can also choose this type of it which you need to put the hard disk inside it and close it with with two screw or four screw depending on the type and you can plug it using USB cable. So you have the choice of different brand, different type, and they are totally different, but they do the same work or they do the same the same job. For me, this is typically for hard disk, which which I will recommend you if you don't if you are not willing to use in the future any SSD. However, there is now the the ad, this adapter or this uh, this the hard disk box which is which is matching with uh, hard disk and SSD solid state drive or or hard disks so basically it is coming with the cable and with the connector and you can make your computer hard disk external as you wish so we're gonna just open it now and we're gonna take off this paper it is usually coming it is coming with this kind of cables as you can see and the work is very easy. How does it work? You just open the box and you take your hard disk. You make sure that you are connecting in the right in the right order. So we have small big small L as we can consider it and big L. So here we need to look for small L, big L also. And we put them together and we connect it. Here you have a little lamp which show you a color or which will light when you connect the, when you connect it to the computer. And you put it inside the box and you can close the box if you would like. You can leave it open uh, as it's as you wish if you are not going to transport it anywhere. And you can connect the cable to your computer and it should work. I'm going to show it to you now. I'm going just to put it next to my computer. Sorry. As you can see guys, there is a blue light, it's now lighting, and now we're going to check in my computer. My hard disk is 750 gigabit, but it should show something lower, like 600, 650 with Microsoft, that's the normal. However, if you have a Mac, it will show you the full uh, storage, which is 750. This is my external hard disk. This is my computer internal hard disk, which I made external. And as you can see, it's now connected and it's working and all my data is there. And you can do it with any type of, uh, of hard disks or with any type of computers. You can also do it even with the, the, with the office computer or let's say the old tower computer with big hard disks. You can also you can also find a specific box for it like the same which or a specific adapter which we find for this SATA hard disk. You can also guys do the same. You can also do the same if you have a small SSD in your computer and you want to change it for a big one. You can just buy a bigger one uh, with let's say you have 100 giga you want to have 500 SSD gigabit. So you can buy SSD with 500 gigabit and you can keep your old one and you can put it in, ex in a, an external adapter or external box as we bought and which I did the same with my with my SSD so you can just take the SSD it's uh, it should be fully adaptable to any to any computer and to any any um, adapter and it should be working as the SSD has the same connector as a computer which is SATA or the 2L as I prefer calling them I hope this video tutorial was useful to you guys if you need help, assistance or advice, you can always contact us on our Facebook, Twitter or Gmail or you can just put a comment in, in, in the comment field under the video and with a hashtag of question and we will reply to you. 
I hope this video tutorial was useful to you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and share with your friends. Thanks for watching and talk to you soon in a new video tutorial.